you know, obviously you notice guys like, you know, for me, like Moon and you see Eddie, but um, I mean, I, you know, all the guys you saw go down. So, and definitely guys dealing with stuff uh, during the game. So uh, it, it's tough, but you know, I, you, football, you kind of have that next, next man up approach type deal. And when you get this late in the season, that's kind of how it goes. But um, I don't think I've been a part of something like that, where you see that as many guys like that go down. Long way to go yet. There's still a month plus. Of, uh, yeah. How do you guys grind through the, the fatigue and, and just the, the mounting losing streak here? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you just kind of kind of stick to your routines and, you know, um, figure things out along the way. So, uh, you know, obviously losing guys doesn't help, but, um, you know, as individuals, you just got to do what you got to do uh, throughout the week, you know, stick to your routine. And, and really at this point, you know, you put good stuff on tape, you know, that's just what it's about. So have some pride in yourself and put some good stuff on tape. And um, if you do that, if each individual does that, you know, I think the outcomes will, will start to change. The season offensively was going to be a kind of a, a growing season. Yeah. What, what do you hope can still be accomplished the last five games with the way this offense uh, is coming together? Yeah, I still think, you know, obviously continuing our success in the run game. Um, you know, that's been one thing throughout the whole year we've been we've been doing a good job at. And so continuing that and then continuing to work, you know, and grow off of off of the run game with the pass game. And, you know, so I think those things are important. And then if, you know, like I've preached in the past three weeks, you know, we get into situations where – whether it's end of half or end of game, and we're able to, you know, put points point, put points on the board that way, um, I think that's something that we can grow and and that that will, you know, be good for us going forward. You guys have been a part of, you know, losing streaks the past few seasons now, but does anything about this one feel different? You know, first year of a program with Bieber Flues? Um, I, I mean, lo- losing's tough, man. Losing's tough. I don't know if I could say it feels different. Like losing sucks any any way you put it, and. Losing streaks are tough. Um, you know, I appreciate how they've, how coach has really handled this here. You know, he he's been consistent every week. You know, whether it's coming off a winning week or a losing week, you know, coach has been the same, um, and that's something that you appreciate as a player. He's not deviating from, from how he how he approaches things or things like that. So he keeps it consistent, and you know, he believes in his process. And I think guys believe in that in that process with the hits principle and things like that. So, um, you know, I think I think last week, you know, yesterday was really a one-off for us. I mean, we haven't really been blown. I think this game and, and Dallas were the kind of two maybe that were out of question, but I mean, every, every other game we've been in. So um, obviously it's been tough there at the end for a lot of these games this year, but um, I don't think yesterday was indicative of how we've been throughout you know the whole season. Did that Dallas game feel different though because your offense was ascending? Yeah, and we were, I think we were in the game longer. It felt like, yeah. you know what I mean? We were, we were, we were going, they were scoring, we were scoring there, you know. But, um, you know, obviously a game like this, you know, they kind of just beat us in all three phases. But it's, it, excuse me, individually or as a, as a unit, what, what do you want to finish with these last five games to kind of finish the season strong? Yeah, I, th- I, I think it just goes back to putting good stuff on tape, you know, making sure that you're executing the things the coaches are asking you to do. And, um, yeah, I just think, you know, as an individual, you got to put good good stuff on tape. And if you're doing that, executing the right way, I think it'll it'll bode well for the rest of the team. Or see people talking about draft position for the Bears? Yeah, I don't really care about that. I mean, for me, I, I'm trying to go out and win every week. Um, for, I don't care about the draft fix. That's for the front office. Um, you know, for me, like, I don't care if we have the first pick or the 32nd pick in the, this upcoming draft. You know, my, my focus is on winning games, and, uh, you know, that's, that's my job, you know, each and every week. Somebody who grew up here, what would snapping a win streak against or snapping a losing streak and doing it against the Packers? Yeah, I, I think, you know, regardless, you can throw records out of the window for these type of games. You know, this is the biggest rivalry in the NFL, um, most historic. Um, you know, obviously this game, I grew up watching this game, and this game means a lot to me. So regardless of what, where either team is at in the season at this point, like this is a big game. Um, and you, you feel that, you know, in the locker room, regardless of, of the records of, of each team. So... Uh, I'm looking forward to it, and you know, like you said, it's a good opportunity to to break a losing streak here, and and you know, kind of feel good about yourselves uh, going into the bye week. Do you want Aaron Rodgers to play or not? Yeah, let's bring it on. You know, I mean, why wouldn't you? You know, he's the he he's the he's the staple of their franchise, and you know, to get opportunity to go beat him, um, you know, it, it would always be a good feeling. So yeah, I, I would you know like to see Aaron out there for sure. Oh, go ahead. 
the bye week is so late this year. I do yeah. know the guys being banged up. I mean, how much do you guys need that, that rest after this game? Yeah, uh, we need it for sure. Um, so, you know, it's just about grinding through this week and, you know, we'll see how guys can heal up, you know, during this whole week leading up to Sunday. But um, that bye week will be big. You know, we had our schedule did kind of split up nice with that th early Thursday game and, you know, it kind of acts as a mini bye week. And we had this, what, six or seven week stretch now. And, and now we kind of get to finish it off after this bye week with four games. But, um, yeah, definitely needed for sure. Yesterday you called Mooney a vibrant guy. Yeah. I mean, just his attitude. You know, you feel it in the building. You know, I think he's a guy that, um, you know, he uh, he just brings light and room, just a, a great leader, a dude that, you know, everyone everyone seems to gravitate towards. So whenever you lose a guy like that in the huddle, um, it's definitely tough for the team. So. And, you know, not only obviously he's a great playmaker, but uh, just his attitude and how he approaches his day to day is just really special. You feel it. Yeah. Guys, you know, when you have guys like that, that do things the right way consistently and, you know, don't complain about everything. He just he does what he's told to do and does it at 100 percent all the time. Um, those are the type of leaders that you want in the locker room and, and the type of guy that, you know, other guys in the locker room, locker room gravitate towards. Him today or talk to him today? Yeah, I saw him earlier today. Yeah, was ca catching up with him last night. He's going to have some downtime. He was looking for a show to watch, so I recommended Yellowstone. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, definitely going to keep his spirits up for sure. And, you know, I know he's going to have a big comeback. I mean, is he doing okay? Just all things Yeah, he's in good right? spirits. Yeah, good spirits. You know, I mean, he's going to have a great attitude towards us. He's going to take this head on and, um, you know, he's going to work his tail off. And I know he's going to have a big comeback for sure. Also, violent sport, but are there like with a day like yesterday? Does it even catch you? I don't want to say off guard a little bit, but you notice it when it's particularly violent, right? Yeah, I, I think um, I, I do think the sport's taking for granted how violent it is. I think people just kind of, you know, whether I mean with the head stuff, I mean that, that that's some serious stuff, and you know, um, I mean that's why it's important. You got to trust everybody out there. You know, just throwing somebody out there just to see, you know, how they're gonna do. You know, it's. Uh, that's a scary thought for, for me and, you know, for other guys. You want to be able to trust all, all the guys on the field to know that they're doing their, their job. Um, I mean, because it is a violent – it's a nasty, violent sport, and uh, it shows up, and it showed up yesterday for sure. You know, everybody always talks about next man up, and that's what you have to do. But as a guy that's been teammates with you guys for a while, what's it like to see your first friend going down one after another? It's obviously an unfortunate part of the game. Um, just dealing with those injuries mentally. I've been there myself, so I know it can be difficult. So just try to be around the guys and just help them. Did that get talked about at any point? Are they saying, hey, you know, try and be careful or, hey, there's nobody behind you uh, if you do get banged up? No, you know, there's only one way to play the game and it's full speed. I think they have a contingency plan if, if something were to happen to one of us. I'm not sure, but you'd have to ask the coaches, but they got some sort of plan. <clears throat> have you spoken to him since the injury? I saw him in the meeting room a little bit of him. How's he, how's he doing? Eddie is, uh, I guess you have to ask him to really know. But he seems to be in good spirit. <clears throat> a pretty resurgent season. How big of a <coughs> blow is it to lose him and, and the level of play he was playing at as well? Yeah, I mean, Eddie's, in my opinion, the best in the game, uh, a great teammate. So obviously it just it hurts us, but we just got to find a way to, to try to try to find that production, you know, from other people. You think Coach said that, that morale on the team is high. How has that managed to be the case with the losing streak, the injuries, the record, everything? How, how is morale high? We have great men in the locker room. Really, I think that's all it comes down to, you know, guys that care about each other, not just themselves. If, if all you care about is yourself, then this would be tough, you know. And it is tough to a certain degree, right? But um, I just think we have guys who care about each other and uh, pros who want to get better, and that's what we're focused on. Here with different coaches. And how does that affect just kind of your day-to-day the way you go about things, I know you say it probably shouldn't, but I'm, I'm sure it's human. You feel the weight of it as weeks go on. If you ask me, you know, how, how many games we've lost in a row, I, I really couldn't tell you. That's just me. Uh, every, every guy might be different, but to me, I got a job to do, you know. 
and wins and losses, like those kind of come and go, but I got a job to do and I'm just trying to make the most out of any opportunities we get. Ibrafus is the same guy after wins and after losses. Mm-hmm. There's something comforting about that as a player. Do you agree? Yeah, I'd say so. And I, I think, again, to your question, that's part of the reason why the morale is high because, it's, you know, it's not too high, you know, when you win, you're not too low when you, low, when, when you lose. Um, so that, that's part of the reason why the morale can be what it is because you're getting the same thing every week. Well, this is a guy you've taken under your wing on special teams and you be on the field with him while he's making his defensive debut. Is there anything you have to do differently on the field knowing a guy's making his – debut on defense or is there anything you tell him when he's taking the field for the first time all I told Elijah at one point is it's just like practice you know it's not don't make it too big and I think he did a good a great job when he came in <laughs> yeah you guys have played two games in that stadium this year a lot of people have complained about that particular playing surface you guys had a lot of non-contact injuries yesterday mm-hmm. Do you have any thoughts on how safe that field is I don't, I don't know all the science and all that stuff behind turf and grass and whatnot, but I know that even before the game, kind of making breaks, I was my joints were feeling achy and wasn't really feeling good. So I think they got to do something to figure it out. I don't know what that is, but no, you're good. Does that make you nervous at all going out into a game? Because you can't think about that while you're in the game, but going right. into a game – Feeling like, hey, this doesn't feel totally solid under my feet. Right. No, I wouldn't say nervous. I mean, there's been times before a game where, like, I, I don't have it today, you know, like as far as my body. I'd, I'd say at the end of the day, you got a job to do and you just got to, you know, no one cares what the surface is when they turn the tape on and, and evaluate you. And they just want to see, did you produce? Did you do your job? So um, I wouldn't say nervous, but just something you got to deal with. Backward and forward along the sideline. There, as you're doing that, are you you're feeling the surface with? Okay, how much give do we have here? Did, how do you try and get a feel for actually what it's going to be like? The surface itself, I don't know. I'm just out there trying to warm up. Um, if it was grass and it was wet, and then in that sense, then I try to see what's you know what kind of cleats I need to wear and whatnot. But uh, the turf itself, I was just trying to get ready for the game. <laughs> What have you stood out to you the way he kind of operates and, and plays? No, I think he tackled really well. Um, he's a smart. He's really smart. So he was on his details as far as his assignments, and uh, he's a, he's a fun player to be on the field with. He he always celebrating good plays, and um, so I'm excited to see him keep playing. Andrew, you're so focused on every game and your job and all that. Do you ever take a step back and see a light at the end of the tunnel, big picture wise? Of where you know where things are going, as far as as far as where the the direction of the franchise. You know, you've been here many years in this situation, and maybe you you know, and and, and a lot of times it hasn't worked out. Do you see it? Do you see? Do you ever take a step back, look at where you're heading overall, and see, like I said, a light at the end of the tunnel or some? No. No, I'm usually trying to stay focused on just myself and what I got to do. Um, Control what I can control. You know, I know it's cliche, but I think that's part of the reason why I've been able to stick around. I'm just kind of focused on day to day, trying to improve my skills and, you know, just get better and do what I can do to help to help the team. <clears throat> when you got a month left, you know, and the losses have stacked up and the, the physical and mental fatigue is there. How does a group grind through that down the stretch when when you're in the state that you guys are in right now? Um, I'll speak for myself. I'd say probably two things. Pride. Like, I don't care how many games we've lost, you know. I got to turn the tape on and I got to feel feel good. Like, I put a good product out there, you know. Um, so, pride. And, and then another thing is just loving the game. You know, you can't lose that aspect of it, especially when you're losing. Like, it is, it is your job, right? It's, it's our job. But you also got to have fun, like, if you don't, then you're going to drive yourself crazy, in my opinion. This is not a job that you can not like and just wake up and keep doing it. You know, you're going to drive yourself crazy. And like you said, your body's hurt, your mind's all over the place. So I think you got to try to still love the game. Yeah. I mean, is that where the spark comes from for, for the group? What was that? Is that where the spark comes from? Again, like I, I hesitate to speak for other people, but for, for me, yeah. Like I just, you got to love it, you know. Have you never felt like a job? It's never felt like a job. 
Well, it has. It has, yeah. When does it feel, when does it feel the most like a job? I guess probably when you wake up at 6 a.m. and it's like my body doesn't feel good and no one cares that my body doesn't feel good, I got to go perform. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure everyone here has had days where you're like, I don't really want to do this, you know, but I got to. And I guess in that aspect is what I mean when I say it feels like a job. How do you find fun? Excuse me? How do you find fun when the scoreboard doesn't say what you want it to say? Besides doing press conferences. <laughs> <laughs> My safeties coach, uh, Andre Curtis, um, he says a lot of times he doesn't like talking about winning and losing because you can't control that. Um, you got to do the things conducive to winning. And so I find the process of that fun, trying to work on my craft. I find fun. I find my teammates who I enjoy being around. Because, you know, at the end of the day, like this is life. It's bigger than football. You know, when, I, <clears throat> when we go and we pass, like who really cares about anything other than the impact you've made around, you know, people around you? Right. Obviously, you want to do good. You want to excel in your job. But, you know, it's fun to be around people you love and try to build relationships. That's fun. And then the game of football is fun. You know, even, you know, win, lose. There's something in there that you had a good time. You hit somebody or, you know, one of your teammates made a good play. You get to celebrate each other. That's fun. <laughs>